Don't know if you've seen this. The fashion of One Piece. What a character wears is an easy way to show what they're all about. A loud suit turns this Jimmy McGill into Saul Goodman. Gohan wearing a purple gi shows his respect and admiration for his one true father, Piccolo. These chunky shoes show that Sega was really banking on soap shoes to become a thing. One thing that always bothered me about cartoons is characters never change their damn clothes. And I mean- Except for One Piece, where they fucking get dripped out all the time. I get it. You gotta make turnaround sheets for every single costume for consistency's sake, and it bogs down the machine that is animation. But one series says, fuck it. From the outside, it may seem that One Piece characters only have one fit, but trust me, that is only for promo art and ads. After author Ichiro Oda knew that One Piece was sticking around for a bit, he started throwing straw hats into all kinds of banger outfits, and I just wanted to share some of my faves. Now, honestly, Luffy doesn't change a whole lot. The first difference we get is in Skypea, where he opens his vest. Okay, I'm being a bit disingenuous, he also has a bracelet. Okay, but the first real change is when we get to Ennis Lobby. On face value, it doesn't look too different, but I feel like there's a bit of subtle storytelling and simply changing Luffy's color palette. We swap the bright red shirt for a darker maroon and give him black pants. He's wearing the same style, but with these darker colors, it shows that he's still the same Luffy, but he's serious now going against the world government. And this trend follows throughout pretty much the entire series. Once in a while, we'll get things out of Dude, yeah. normal. This was my favorite Luffy uh, shirt. Wheelhouse, like the intro to Wano or the Whole Cake Island suit. But for the most part, the kid sticks to his bread and butter. That being said... Oh, by the way, um, from Reverie to Wano, the jump in like animation goes crazy too. I must admit, uh, it goes extra hard and it literally turns into an entirely different anime. Like... I, I thought that was also sick. Like, Wano's animation is wild. And it turns into a very different... It went from a 2010 show to a 2020 show. Yeah. No, literally. The animation got so much fucking better. Um, and it actually... And it actually shocked me. Wait, Wano Act 1 versus 3 animation is night and day 2? Wait, it gets even better than that? Yo, that's crazy. Why did it take until like 2019 for the animation to make such massive jumps? Anyway, I, um, that was another thing that I, uh, I, I saw. The new arc literally has 2030 animation. They got new art directors. Anyway, I, like the outfits are sick. The, the. Like what I've seen so far, because like Luffy and them haven't even reached Wano yet, or or I like I think Luffy's like underwater or some shit with the squid. That's the last thing I saw on Wano, uh, and I I don't know. I thought it was like, I thought it was dope. I thought it was like really, uh, really sick. Like the way Zoro looks and stuff. Due to Luffy's very attractive and cute design, you can put him in anything, and he absolutely rocks it. In comes the One Piece Gucci collab. Here we have Luffy wearing some high-end fashion and every single outfit is a sleigh, man. Like, I don't, I don't even know if this is actually Oda's art, but they match it very well. His expressions are great. His vibe is, uh, is fucking 10 out of 10. Luffy wearing Gucci. Who would have thought? And going into more non-canon, I think one of my all-time favorites is from the film Strong World. It's a fun play on his regular outfit with some extra accessories to play on his adventuring. I've watched zero of the movies, by the way. Aesthetic. Uh, ever since Strong World, Oda has had more of a presence in the movie's production. I watched zero of the movies. I don't know if I should watch any of the movies. I don't really care. Uh, are they are they even relevant to the plots? No, right? So uh, going forward, all the outfits that the Straw Hats wear in the movies are killer. Zoro's character is so cool, and it's such a shame that the man never changes his fucking clothes. I get it. The dude canonically does not shower, but... He has not taken off these pants for the entire series. He's the right. One exception is Dressrosa, well, which I love. 
Now this is just a personal yeah, he wears thing, a but suit characters and dress roses are a hit for me. I don't know, they look so damn cool. And seeing Zoro in a suit is such a breath of fresh air. He looks awesome. Going back to the Strong World movie, in the finale, all the Straw Hats get dolled up. So uh, this outfit isn't so dissimilar from this one, but I wanted to diversify a little bit, so we're choosing Dress Rosa. The other movies like Z and Gold have Zoro and more business casual, which look absolutely amazing. But all that being said, these are not my favorite. This one's rather- Wait, what? Egg I'm skipping this, right? He says spoiler ahead for Egghead. When does the spoiler end? I have to skip it, right? Because I haven't, I haven't seen this. Who linked it? Austin Ox did. Just the fits, don't worry. Yeah, but he gave a fucking spoiler, dog. It must be... Skip to Nami. Similar stuff up until post Alabasta. My theory is that the Straw Hats actually had money now and they can afford to splurge a little bit. And it's really tough to pick a favorite pre time skip. I mean, Skypea is really fun with the pigtails and beachy vibes. Water 7 has this. What the fuck was that? Bro, wait. Oh, and they can afford to splurge a little bit. And it's really tough to pick a favorite pre time skip. Well, was that I mean, a Skypea remaster? Really fun. I don't remember Skypea looking like this. Did they like remake it or something? What the fuck? With pigtails and beachy vibes. Water 7 has this button up and tie. Super cute. Both Thriller Bark outfits are amazing. Post time skip has been kind of rough with no real standouts except for one. And it's got to go to this dress in Whole Cake Island. Oda, please. Personally, I love it when Nami does things with her hair. I'm not a big fan of the long hair of post time skip, but when she does fun stuff, I- Bro, Nico Robin, Miss All Sunday, anime peaked, okay? When you want to talk about best girl, All Sunday Nico Robin is literally the peak, okay? Pre time skip Nico Robin is all hits, okay? It's all hits, no misses, everything is a 10 out of 10. The greatest crime of all time was making Nico Robin more Caucasian and deleting the bangs. Okay. That's it. Unacceptable. But Miss All Sunday is literally the greatest, most peak, most excellent version. I think it looks really good. Let's Robin go. struggles in the same way with having no real post time skip drip. The only one that I really like is Egghead Island, but I'm not picking that one. So we have to go to pre time skip where there are some bangers like the goth mommy dress and thriller yes. bark and the return of the cowboy hat and Saba yes. Odi is fantastic. But is anything ever going to top any slobby? The black leather dress with the white. Okay, fringe. this was a pretty fire one too, but Miss All Sunday is the peak, I think. Except for it does. Strong World, the first outfit she wears, rubbing in glasses, this freaking dress. Strong World solos. Sweep the competition. I don't make the rules, I just follow them. No all Sunday mention means that this is like completely this is fraudulent. This is fraudulent activity. Back to someone who never changes. Usopp refuses to take off these fucking overalls. If I had to choose, I'd probably go with Dress Rosa. I think the helmet looks pretty cool and the jacket. All I've, I don't like Usopp's drip at all. I think Sanji has like a lot of cool drip. Sanji's worst drip, in my opinion, might be the... Sanji's worst drip might be the fucking... Uh, what do you call it? The, the, the one where he's on Zoo. All the colors is Black History Month. I don't care, man. Match very well. Ah, really slim pickings from you, Usopp. It's such a shame, too, because Oda can draw Usopp in some fantastic attire. Looking at some of the colors. 
Bro, the fact that he missed this is like, that's a miss. Miss All Sunday is ethereal. Sanji's weakest drip clears Usopp's best drip easily. Yes. The spreads that Oda has done, he has some great outfits for Usopp. One of my personal favorites being this one, where his hair is down. I mean, he's either wearing a hat or he has his hair up in a ponytail. Oda, let Usopp's hair down. You're literally nerfing his sexiness. You know, and it's wild because Usopp is literally the most creative straw hat of them all. And I wish he would express that more in his outfits. Uh, Look at any one of his costumes from the movies. Yo, that's sick. You can't tell me the kid wasn't up all night designing these things. Come on. As I said before, characters and suits are a hit for me. So of course, Sanji's design is one of my all time favorites. He always looks great, but honestly, I feel like the most fun is when he's outside of the suit. And I ain't talking about butt naked. Both Skypiea outfits are great, giving him this more relaxed vibe and putting him in shorts, showing off them hairy legs. And heading into post time skip, I think there's a sleeper outfit in what he wears to Zoe. I think the colors look That's fantastic. the one I didn't like. The jacket looks This is the one I actually didn't like. Okay, me and this guy were fighting. So cool. And Sanji in glasses is always a treat. Another one that I really I like Sanji in glasses. I think that that out outfit that he wears is probably the worst one. Enjoy is his Germa raid suit. That being said, it's very short lived. Oh, oh this fucking no. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I didn't see that. Dude, what the fuck? Okay, I didn't I didn't technically see it. Okay, okay, that's fine. I mean, look, I, I saw and I knew that he was going to inevitably try the the the, the thing because I, I did see I did see uh in the beginning of Wano where they're fighting over the, the canister. Watching OP vids is a bit idea because there will be spoilers no doubt uh it's from a movie damn he went Even into the Brooke. first time he's had his afro be different colors he looks so cool but on the complete other side of the spectrum you get metal pirate core brook with this spiky afro and leather all over this shows that oda can still dress brooke so let's hope that he's in the kitchen right now cooking something special for my boy I skipped Chopper because I don't really care. Oh, Frankie. So obviously the bit is that he only Super. wears a Speedo, so it's kind of tough to give him different outfits. I mean, three times skip. He yeah, when I found out that they forced Oda to make Tony Tony Chopper not a monster, like uh, uh, kind of like animal looking monster, and instead this like cute ass fucking little thing so they could sell merchandise. That's when I felt vindicated about my feelings on Chopper. I don't think Chopper is, I, I think Chopper is like a cute character, fine. But I do think that, I do understand that, I, I understand Oda's decision originally. Like when he first reveals Chopper, he's like a monster and he's like kind of a human. Um, At least he has monster form, but like I wish... I wish he kept up like a like a human looking monster uh, form all the time. You're gonna hate Zoo lol? No, I, I didn't hate Zoo at all. He was just changing out shirts. Going back to Strong World, I think this leather jacket looks so fly on him. And I mean, the stars on the Speedo are fun. But then we get to post time skip and things get a little tricky. On one hand, we get Frankie in more out there outfits, and this is exemplified with his new hair changing concept. But on the other hand, it's beholden to this design. Now, we're not here to talk about character designs, but post time skip Frankie makes outfits look very weird. You mean to tell me this guy and this guy are wearing the same thing? Some color spreads have Frankie in open jackets or tank tops, which I think look fine. I mean, Film Red went full on metal with him as well, and this looks sick as fuck. But in my opinion, I think that his outfit in Egghead Island plays into his new robot design perfectly. 
Okay, Last but yeah. not least, we have the newest member of the DK crew, Jim Ben. Even though I hate post time skip Frankie. Um Okay, okay. I'm like worried that there's gonna be other there's gonna be more uh more more fucking spoilers in here, so I'm not gonna watch the rest of it. You are literally Frankie. I I will take on that I'm Katakuri, but I will not I refuse that I'm Frankie. What is this, the breathtaking world of One Piece? Shika. 